Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Merrick from Mac Tuts Plus. As part of this tutorial, I'm going to take you through the simple process of installing Plex Media Server on your Mac. The first thing we need to do is go to the Plex website. From here, we click on Downloads. Plex lists the minimum requirements here, so be sure that your Mac meets them. Now click Download Plex Media Server. The download weighs in at just over 60 megabytes, so I've already downloaded this in advance. Now we've installed Plex to the Applications folder, it's time to launch it. Plex will display the Setup Assistant and ask us a few basic questions needed to start using it. After accepting the license agreement, Plex needs to know where your movies are stored. Select the folder you want to use, in my case I'm using the standard movies folder in OS X. Next, Plex will ask where TV shows are. I'm going to skip this step, but it works just the same as the movies selection. I'm also going to skip this step for music as well. Plex includes a plugin service that will let some media receivers access internet content they otherwise wouldn't be able to view. For example, I could enable the twit.tv plugin to provide my media receiver access to shows like This Week in Tech and Mac Break Weekly. For now, we're not going to enable any plugins. Now we've got Plex installed, let's close the setup assistant and see what we've got. Clicking the Plex menu bar icon presents us with a relatively simple menu. We can access Plex's preferences, select whether we want it to run when we log in and manage the media Plex provides. Go ahead and select Media Manager. You'll see here we have a section on the left called Movies. This is what we set during the setup assistant. On the right will be a list of all movies available. In this case, we have the trailer for the Avengers. If I bring up the movies folder in the finder, you can see Plex has detected this video file from the folder we set. Before we wrap up this section of the tutorial, let's take a quick look through the preferences. I'm going to be talking more about these preferences later in the tutorial, but it's worth taking a quick look through them to familiarise yourself with the features and options available in Plex. You'll notice that Plex has no options to select the type of media receiver you want to use. Plex manages this automatically by supporting a number of standards that the vast majority of receivers will already be designed to use. Now we've set up Plex, it's time to see it in action. Continue the tutorial to see what you can do with it. 